Hi buddies, welcome back. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy A25 5G and we will go ahead and set it up together. We will turn the phone on and now the logo appears and it's starting. So now we get welcomed here and we can make emergency calls and make our vision settings and we will go ahead and click on start. It says to add a SIM card but we will have a separate video for that so we're going to skip that part and now we can select our language and we will choose English. We say next. For your review, check out the privacy policy to see how we manage your data. Alright, so you can click on it and then read through more information. We'll have to say I agree to the end user license agreement and then I agree to the sending of diagnostic data as optional and you can also say to agree to all, which is also optional. So we say agree. Easy setup with another device, sign in automatically and copy settings, accounts and more from another phone or tablet. Keep your other phone or tablet nearby and unlocked. So you can now say if it's a Galaxy or Android device or an iPhone or iPad um, and if you don't want to set up using another device you can also say to set up manually. Now you can say to choose a Wi-Fi network and we will log into our network. So we're connected now and then we'll get to the next slide. Service provider setup, checking service provider information. This could take a few minutes. All right. So you can now click on restart. We don't have any other options, so we have to do that. Now we can go ahead and copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts, and more. So if you click on next, the phone will guide you through the next steps that you have to take. Or you say don't copy. We all say don't copy. We don't have another device we want to like copy apps and data from. And also sometimes it's just nice to start fresh again. Now we can sign into our Google account. We'll do that. If you don't have a Google account, you can create an account here. I will put in my email address now. And now we have to put in our password. We publish the Google Terms of Service so that you know what to expect as you use our services. By clicking I agree, you agree to these terms. You're also agreeing to the Google Play Terms of Service to enable discovery and management of apps. And remember, the Google Privacy Policy describes how Google handles information generated as you use Google services. You can always visit your Google account to take a privacy checkup or to adjust your privacy controls. So if you click on Google Terms of Service, Google Play Terms of Service or Privacy Policy, you will get to more information and you can read through it. And then we have to say, I agree or don't add this account now. So we don't have any other option than to say that we are agreeing. Getting our account info. Tab to find out more about each service, such as how to turn it on or off later. Data will be used according to Google Privacy's policy. So we have use basic device backup, use location, allow scanning and send usage and diagnostic data. Um, so we can now turn them on or off. If you turn off the use location, the allow scanning will be turned off automatically with it. This can only be turned on and off manually if you have the use location on. You can read through more information here and here and then turn them on or off. Then we can say more and accept. And now we can choose our search engine. The, ser the search engine that you choose will be set as default in a search box on your home screen and in Chrome. The app will be installed from Play. You can install other search apps and reconfigure your home screen at Chrome at any time. So if you click on these little arrows here, we have more information about the apps. And then we can go ahead and, I don't know, just choose Google for now and then say next. Protect your phone, prevent others from using this phone without your permission by setting a screen lock. We will have a separate video for that, so we say skip. You won't be able to prevent others from using this phone if it's lost or stolen, skip anyway. And now we have the assistant, access your assistant with Hey Google. If you agree, Google Assistant will wait in standby mode to detect Hey Google. 
Um, so you can go ahead and set that up or skip. We will skip this as well. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. All right. So now we come to the Samsung account. One account and advice just for you. Sign in to get started. So we can't actually skip that part. If you have an account, you can go ahead and log into that. Um, I don't even have an account. So I will say I forgot password or don't have an account create account forgot ID okay and now we can say set up later in settings yeah we want to do that skip Samsung services customization service and smart suggestions you can turn that on or off just as you like I agree choose our display mode so you can now go ahead and choose either the light or the dark theme I will go with the light one next and now we're all set up. Finish, discover and install great apps. Press continue to discover great apps for your device. All apps are free. So we say later, yes. And now we are on our home screen and we can now go ahead and install apps that we like and, and set up our phone further. So that's the initial setup of the Samsung Galaxy A25 5G. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.